The Project Curve command in the Curve tab Derived Curve group projects points or curves onto faces or a plane. The first selection step defines the curves or points to project. I'll pick this spline. The second pane contains selection steps to either pick an object or define a plane on which to project. I'll pick the cylindrical face of the cylinder. The projected curved previews it may not be what you expect as it looks smaller. The drop-down in the projection direction pane defines how the curve is projected. Currently, it is set to along face normal. This means a normal of the cylindrical face is determining how to project the curve at each point. Displaying this drop-down, there are three more methods to define the projection direction. I'll set this to a long vector, and the selection step requires me to define the vector. I'll pick the y-axis. Now, each point of the spline is projected in this direction. Expanding the dialog, there is a gaps pane which can be used to bridge gaps that exist when you project multiple curves. The settings pane has a few options, starting with an associative option. This drop-down defines what to do with the input curves. You can hide them, and if you deactivate associative, you can delete or replace them. Advanced Curve Fit makes several more options available to give you more control over the curve's definition. And Join Curves can be used to join multiple curves that you project by selecting how to define the new joined curve.